Question number 96. The production of gametes, formation of zygotes, F1 and F2 plants in a hybrid cross can be understood with the help of a Punnett square. This person who developed this method was a German mathematician, is known as father of genetics. No. Third was a British geneticist. Yes, the Punnett square was developed by Regnal C. Punnett and he was a British geneticist. So the correct option for the given question is option number Three. This was very easy question. Question number 97. The double helix model for the structure of DNA proposed by Watson and Crick was based on. Okay, this is a memory based question. It was based on the X-ray diffraction data. So the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's move to the next question. Question number 98 says that in a nucleotide, a phosphate group is linked to dash of a nucleoside through dash. So you have to select the correct option to fill in the blanks 1 and 2. It is mentioned over here that in a nucleotide, in a single nucleotide, a phosphate group is linked to dash of a nucleoside through dash. So if you can see here in the picture which is given over here, you can see here this is the base and this is the sugar and this is the phosphate. How can you differentiate between a nucleoside and a nucleotide? In a nucleoside, there is a base and a sugar. When this nucleoside is attached to a phosphate group, it becomes the nucleotide. In this particular question, we are asking about this nucleotide. So when this nucleoside is attached to a phosphate group with the help of this linkage, which is called 5 prime OH and this 5 prime is the fifth carbon of the sugar. So this linkage is called the phosphoaster bond. So you have to always remember that a sugar is attached to a base with the help of a glycosidic linkage. So first there is a base, a base is attached to a sugar with the help of a glycosidic linkage and then sugar is attached to a phosphate with the help of phosphoaster bond. So this forms a nucleotide. When this phosphate is again attached to the next sugar, it is called the phosphodiester bond. But here in this question, we are asking about a single nucleotide. So in a single nucleotide, a phosphate group is linked to fifth carbon of the sugar of a nucleoside through phosphoaster bond. So the correct option for the given question should be option number two. Let's move to the next question. Question number 99. Two B plants were crossed together. The plants obtained in F1 generation by this cross were both types, tall and dwarf. The genotypes of parents may be represented as. See, in this question you can see this. Two B plants were crossed together and the offsprings are both types, tall and the dwarf. It means the genotype of tall can be capital T, capital T or the capital T, small t. As you know, tall is dominant over the dwarf. But the genotype of the dwarf should be small t, small t. And how can you get this small t, small t? The crossing parents should have at least one allele which is small t. Then only you can get this small t, small t. If both the parents don't have small t, you cannot get small t. So both of the parents should have at least one allele which is small t. Then only you can get small t, small t in the offsprings. So this option is ruled out as here you cannot get small t in the next generation. This option is also ruled out. This option is also ruled out. So the remaining option is this one which is the first one in which you can get small t small t in the next generation from both the parents. So the correct option for the given question is option number one. Let's move to the next question. Question number 100. 
there is no need of test cross to know the genotypes for particular traits of individual when these traits show in complete dominance because so there is no need of test cross in the incomplete dominance why because in incomplete dominance the dominant trait is not completely expressed and the intermediate phenotype you can get over here for example the flower color in snapdragon this is red colored flower in snapdragon and this is white which is recessive when you cross you will get capital r small r genotypically and pink colored flower phenotypically so is there any need to know the genotype if it is red you are sure that it is capital r capital r if it is white from the phenotype you are sure that it is small r small r and if it is heterozygous you won't get red you will get pink then it is also sure that it is heterozygous so heterozygous individual show different phenotype from the parents and that's why there is no need of test cross in the incomplete dominance so the correct option for the given question is option number 4 what about the rest options in such type of traits pair of alleles do not segregate no they segregate there is no recessive alleles for these type of traits no there is a recessive allele such traits do not follow any law of inheritance no it is not also correct so let's move to the next question mm -hmm.